This is a short tour of the Postgres Plus Cloud Database Console. When you first get to the console, you'll need to register a user. Besides your personal information, name, password, and company name, you'll also need your Amazon access key and secret key. Once you've registered a user, you can then log into the console. This is the Dashboard tab of the console. From here, you can launch a database cluster, see the resources that you're using, get information from Enterprise DB, or see service status updates. At the bottom of the dashboard, there are links to tutorials and more documentation about the Postgres Plus Cloud Database. Now we'll create our first database cluster. From this page, you specify information such as the cluster name, which version of PostgreSQL you want to use, server size, the number of nodes to be in the cluster, the amount of storage, and the master username and password. Then you can choose how many backups you would like to keep and when you'd like the backups to take place. Now our cluster is being created. From the Clusters tab, you can get information about the database clusters that you own. This one is still initializing. You can see the list of events to check on the status of the cluster startup. While it's starting, we can see the Backups tab that shows the current backups that you have and allows you to recover from a backup or delete backups that you don't need, and a Users tab where you can edit your personal information and download the key that you'll need to log into any of the instances that are created. Back in the Clusters tab, we can see that the master server is up and running and the console is now creating the replica. Now our complete cluster is up and running. By selecting the cluster, you now have options such as Scale Up, Scale Down, Back Up the Cluster, Clone the Cluster, or Terminate the Cluster completely. In the Details page, you can see the address where the master and the replica are both running. You can see Configuration Options and change these for the cluster, and you can monitor the state of the cluster as well. Once a backup has been performed, you can see the backups you have available to you, and you can restore from a backup or delete backup. Finally, you can use the console to terminate a database cluster as well when it's no longer needed. 